everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize your navigation bar on your website. So the navigation bar is, of course, the area of your website where website visitors can navigate to other pages. So when they land on your website, most likely your home page, of course, uh, they have the navigation bar to navigate to other pages. So here is how to customize this bar. What you're going to want to do is you want to log into your agent panel, go under website and click on design. Once you click on design, what you're going to do is scroll down a little bit and you're going to see a header here that says menu. So now we've entered the menu controller. So the first thing here that you're able to do is uh, toggle the layout. So you have the horizontal layout, which we've already seen is something like this. And we also have a vertical layout and that looks like something like this. So you could see here the menu is vertically laid out and of course you could have toggle it on and off but this is the vertical layout so with one click of a button you could switch between the two layouts. The next question is whether you want your menu to be above the header or below the header. So what we're talking about here is if your website has a header and we have tutorial videos on how you can add your own header or create your own header but if you have a header such as this website you could choose to have this navigation bar below the header so in this example it's below the header or above the header so if we put it above the header, header this navigation bar would of course appear above the, these logos the next option here is to select the font style so you can of course change the font of your menu you of course have the menu width option I always recommend edge to edge but of course you could do content width the difference between the two is just a couple inches off the left and right. You could choose to align your menu so you can have everything on the left, centered or to the right. So in this example you could see it's centered whereas in this example it's to the left. You can have a menu image so you might have a logo or some sort of graphic you want to put on the menu. So by clicking this you can actually upload the logo to the menu and to show you what that would look like here is an example you see here they have a logo to the left hand side and they aligned the actual items on the right hand side so all you do is literally upload the upload the uh, menu image and then select the alignment settings that you want some more options here you have the main menu and sub menu options so when we're talking about the main menu what we're actually talking about is these tabs right up here and when we're talking about the sub menu, we're talking about these drop down options here. So any page that has other pages nested within the main menu. So you could, of course, toggle the font, the text color, the background color, and the hover effects of each. So when we're talking about hover effects, again, you could see that when I hover over this main tab buying, there's a gray background. Then you could see that there is a white background that changes as I hover over the sub menu items. And all of that is controlled here. You can easily play around with different colors. You simply click on the one that you want to change. You could either upload your own color code, toggle some of these areas here, and pick your own color. You can set your margins, so the distance between each item, so the distance between this tab and this tab. You can also set the margin or the height. So how high do you want the bar? You could see this bar is a certain different pixels, whereas this one's a little bit smaller. So you're able to control these settings right in here. And you can add borders. So an example here is if you have a top and bottom border, like in this case, you can see there's a thin line of a specific color. So you're able to do that if you want to segment your menu or navigation bar uh, from the header. So this is exactly how you take control and customize your, your menu. It's very easy to do, as you could see, just takes a couple clicks. And there's an infinite number of possibilities that you can do to make sure that your navigation bar really reflects the most important pages of your website. I hope this video was clear, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our support team.